Yeah, you like the tweaks of uh, the different coaches because obviously they're scouting and there is a game plan to be followed. And so far, th this six from, Ira uh, from uh, Iran and this six from the Philippines is what we're going to see today. Chevy Luna did not play against Australia, scored one point against India. But today in the starting lineup, instead of Te Gagate and uh, Eyalare also coming off the bench as second number one is underway. De Guzman going to Gandler right away. And Gandler with the first player of the Philippines. Well, we've seen that. We've seen a lot of that from Vanny Gandler and she's showing us that no nerves setting in in this international competition. So that's a good sign for Team Philippines. Vanny Gandler, only one point so far. She scored against Australia. She did not get a point against India. And that's the first point of Iran. That is Elale Porsale, another one of those five players that part of the 2023 Challenge Cup roster of Iran. And in their previous match against Taipei, she scored 18 points. So you know she's going to be an option also for Team Iran. There she is. Elahe Porsale. De Guzman to Gandler again. She's picked up the two touches from the Philippines. Battle at the net. And Luna knocks it in. Well, Gandler made that opportunity for Nuna that overpass and Nuna just takes advantage. You're seeing that the game plan is to go a lot to Vanny Gandler. You mentioned one point and now she has two. A different strategy for 57-year-old Jorge Sosa Di Brito, head coach of Alas Pilipinas, Vanny Gandler, who is excited to be part of Alas Pilipinas and women's national team. Gandler with a dig. Rondina, her first touch. Oh, good and day. It's picked up in the back row by Porsale. Frank Hayek sends it over underhand. So a chance ball here for the Philippines. Luna! Oh. Luna got with two points, her highest output in the 2024 Challenge Cup. Yeah, but that's great setting by Gia de Guzman, knowing that Team Iran has eyes on Angel Canino, has eyes on Cici Rondina. So why not run the middle? Again, Gia de Guzman, as we mentioned in the open, uh, her talent in distributing the ball on display. Salamat, that's picked up by de Guzman, set by Makandili Katindig. Salamat once again. Yes! Well, she had 23 points. Two, of, two top scorers <laughs> actually very active today for Team Iran. We have to take, you know, Team Philippines, they have to take a, take note of that. Salamat is one of the first options. Uh, she scored back-to-back -back points, back-to-back uh, -back games in double digits. 10 points in their first game one versus India. And then 23 against Chinese Taipei as Karafi serves it outside. You know, it's interesting to see how Team Philippines has learned from the past two games, right? They, they would start okay. But towards the end of the first set, they would like to falter and lose the first set. But they come back with the second, third, and fourth. So, interesting to see how they're going to adjust today. There's a dig by De Guzman. Canino, her first shot. Yes! Angel Canino coming off a 22-point performance against India. Well, she was the rookie MVP at one point in the UAAP in the collegiate rank so she's showing us today that I'm going to bring it bring it on here in the international scene 31 year old Cherry Nuna with a serve this is a broken play for Iran picked up by Gandler Kiki Sharma that is Doug yeah. rally continues good save Rondina quick approach Oh, still alive! A spectacular for defense. Maybe not. A double contact going to be called against Iran. But, you know, you appreciate the defense of Iran. Those are tough balls, but they're trying to dig it and keep the ball in play. Take a look at the crowd inside the Rizal Memorial Coliseum. Third straight night. Yep. It's been packed to the rafters. Well, the Rizal Memorial has been a go-to venue for all these fans. Salamat. De Guzman with a dig, but not good enough for a second touch for Alas Pilipinas. Well, Salamat getting yet another point 
It's a one-on-one -on -one that she takes full advantage. Gia de Guzman's actually one step short of uh, getting to that ball. 23-year-old Salamat, one of the youngest players in the lineup. Bandina dug by Salamat. Shag Hayag sends it over underhand once again. Free ball for the Philippines and Shaba puts it away. Well, you have three players in front, all very lethal. We're talking about Canino, Rondina, and Sharma. So it's you don't envy the defenders of Iran. Who are we going to guard? Because of her output so far in the Challenge Cup, one of the crowd favorites, a 20-year-old Angel Canino. Good pass. Yeah. Yeah, result is a nice kill for Rehane Karimi, who's 21, or actually will turn 22 next week in June 1. Well, she looks like one of the tallest players on the floor. 6'4". Six, 6'4". Six, wow. You know, give you that impression, that's for sure. In the meantime, Shag Hayeg, who's just 18, serving. Pass by Nierba. Rondina, down the line, got it! Pretty much a combination play for Team Philippines. The Guzman milking Rondina at the, the wing. Just a one.